No, I'm not. How do I go live again? Oh, wait. Okay. No, I'm not. All right. Just going to, uh, it's possible to pop out the chat. Whatever. I could just see it like this. We're going to see if that works. Okay. We're good. All right. We're live. We're live. Hello. We're Every live. We're live. We're going to post Hang this on. everywhere. Make sure you at me so I can. I add, I let added the you know. on Twitter. Did I post it to Twitter already? I didn't post it yet. I'll post it on Twitter. There we go. I'm going to post it in the future as well. Okay. So. Um, here, let me just open up the chat. I'm going to wait until at least someone shows up and then, okay. uh, that's, that's a good idea. Cause there's and literally, then we'll, go, and we'll go more into our explanations or whatever. Mm hmm. Yeah. It's, <laughs> we're really... I think this will work. I think this will work well because like, you know, we, we already have had like differing opinions on the whole thing. Yeah. We've had it. We've so had it's a like, little yeah, bit. It, it works. It'll create interesting discussions. Falcon kick. Falcon kick. There's four people already. Four people. Hello. Welcome to the stream. Hi. Um, <laughs> Hello. So right now we are uh, doing um, a SpongeBob, t a, a tier list for all the SpongeBob episodes in the first three seasons of the show. Because those were obviously the best. Those were just where it all came together. So. Right. Um, that that was Here just like are. the shit. Yeah, uh, we. I feel like we should mention that low tier does not mean the episodes are bad. It just means that compared to the others, they're not that good. They're still good episodes, but just compared to the others, like we think they're kind of. Eh. Yeah, like low tier doesn't mean the episodes bad. Obviously, these are all right. good episodes. It's just all in comparison, of course. Um, who do we have in the chat here? How can I check that? Okay, it's Jade. Jade. <laughs> i'm sorry it was a spur of the moment jade i'm sorry he literally called me up he said i have something i want to do i was like okay yeah, uh, yeah anthony i was gonna do it with anthony but like he was asleep and i think that's my uber eats so oh, okay he has to go get food give me give me a minute i'll be right back i'll entertain the stream yeah so just uh don't throw it on the ground i'm gonna throw it on the ground oh is he gone Okay, he's gone. I don't know. I don't know what to talk about. Let's talk about things Jonah won't let us talk about. Uh, I can't make any good jokes. So how how's everyone doing this wonderful wonderful night on this uh April fourth at twelve o two a.m. I agree, Jade. I agree. Oh, yeah, I agree. Very good post. Or very good, I agree. That's that's wonderful to hear. Alright. I'm back. Hello, welcome that back. That was uh that was my first time ever ordering from Skip the Dishes. So here we have my McDonald's unboxing. Oh, he's going to unbox McDonald's live so, on stream. Yeah, I guess before we continue with what we were doing, um, I think it would be appropriate for us to explain what we have right now and why it's, right. it's where it is. So, yes. um, top tier right now, Pizza Delivery. Pizza Delivery is an amazing episode. Just overall, everything about it's great. And I actually watched a really long video explaining why that is the perfect SpongeBob episode. And I thought that was such a cool video. It. There's there's a lot good about it. Yeah. Like, you literally can't go wrong with pizza delivery. Exactly. And Naughty Nautical Neighbors is also a hilarious episode. And I think it's really underrated. I think that episode is way better than people give it credit for. Yeah, E minor. It's got E minor. Solid. It's got E minor. Solitude in E minor. Let's John. Did you know Squidward is my best friend in the world? <laughs> Squidward is my best friend in the sea. In the sea. 
Squidward, Squidward likes, Patrick likes Patrick more than SpongeBob. Than SpongeBob. And Patrick is a dirty, rotten, cheating fib. So, yeah. And then high tier, Plankton. Lily put Plankton in top tier, I think. I really like Plankton, but I can I can respect Plankton being yeah. high tier. Yeah, I thought it was solid. I just didn't think it had what it takes to be like a top tier episode. Yeah. I just think for an introductory episode for a character like Plankton, I think it does a really good job at like introducing him and just making it a lot of fun. Like we see some goofy stuff with him, but then we actually see like, oh wait, he's not just all talk. Like he can actually get stuff done. Oh wait, he fucked up. Like it's it's fun. It's a good way to introduce the character. Yeah. We also got but I also have bubble stand in high tier. That's a really funny episode with a lot of jokes that like really last like it's a giraffe i think everyone yeah. remembers and loves that joke then you have mid-tier help wanted i think is underrated it's such a good pilot and it's such a fun episode i don't know i just have a really soft spot for it i think everyone kind of does like i even so. like ignoring like the soft spot i do think it's a legitimately good episode because mm -hmm. it sets up a lot and it does it really well yeah so and then boating school it was good I don't love it, but it's got some good jokes. I really like the the testing joke with uh, testing, testing, testing. I love that. Testing, testing, testing. So that's just me. But um, there's also, I got, whoops. Um, ah! Oh, no. Where's the chat? I lost it. Okay, I found it. Um, oh, wow. We also got uh, boating school. Yeah, both school ripped pants. I was never huge on ripped pants. That one was just, I don't know, man. I can respect it, but I think it's still good because like it has a lot of good jokes and like we were saying earlier, like for a lot of people, it's kind of carried by the song. But even without the song, like I think it's got some really good jokes. It's just goofy. It's fun. Yeah, it's just we okay. like it. And then lower tier reef blower. I liked reef blower, but. Didn't really seem amazing to me. I don't know. Um, squeaky boots. That's like season. Two. That's like yeah, later on. Like where? Yeah, we're... that's later. Yeah, we're going through them all in order, so it's like. Oh wait, squeaky boots is like kind of soonish, but whatever, we'll be fine. Yeah, and then jelly fishing. That. Jelly fishing. I felt that way about jelly fishing. Like I could, the, I could only remember a single thing, and that was firmly grasp it. That's the only yeah, thing I, I could think remember. That's what everyone fishing. remembers about jelly fishing. So it's not a bad episode. It just meh. and I wasn't huge on tea at the tree dome, but a fun Neither fact about I. that: every time I drink something, like my pinky is always up. <laughs> it just is. Like I just it's always pinky up, pinky up. When in doubt, pinky up. So it's a fun episode, but I think it's just a little. Nah. Like it's a good way to introduce Sandy, but and like the whole like tree dome thing, but. Nah. So, uh, now that we're caught up to speed, we're going to go forward with, uh, Home Sweet Pineapple. Mm. Um... I would maybe say mid-tier. Maybe. I'm trying to remember it's things from that call. episode. When it's an episode that it's, like, tough to, like, remember a lot, it's, uh... I remember, like, the... That was a good drinking. joke. That was remember? a really good joke. And also Super. Squidward being in the floor. <laughs> like of the new newly grown house yes yes it's, they have some good moments it's underrated for sure underrated episode so let, i'll put that in. i'm back too. forever i'll put forever. that yeah i'd say mid tier so we'll put home sweet pineapple there uh mermaid man and barnacle boy one <laughs> okay so about mermaid mm. man and barnacle boy those episodes some of them kind of mash together. I was talking about uh, the episodes with a buddy from work, like at work one day. And, you know, I was like, yeah, I, my favorite one is the one with the International Justice League of Super Acquaintances. And I thought that was four, but it was actually five. So I'm trying okay. to remember what the first one was. The first one was them just finding out Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy are, like, retired. Um... Oh yeah, uh, it was good. I didn't. It was pretty fun. I didn't dislike that episode. Uh, but like the more they made Mermaid Man, Barnacle Boy characters, the better it got. Like yeah, they sure. definitely got the better grasp on what they wanted to do with the characters. Like they're not bad, but or the episode isn't bad. Like I think it's a good first introduction, but eh, I'd probably say mid tier. I'd say just like, me. 
Uh, I would put it either before or after boating school. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Put it before bird boating school. All right. So, n but yeah, I can spell. Mermaid man. Uh. <laughs> Barnacle. Barnacle. Pickles. Pickles always pissed me off because I fucking hated bubble bath so much. But I, I guess feel like that's the point. Yeah, that that's the point exactly. So. Um, I want to say high tier, but I don't. I I I don't know. I, I think at the very best, it or the very worst, I think it might be top of mid tier. Top like of mid. Yeah, I I agree. I agree. Hall it's monitor. Got a lot of good moments. Was sick. That was That's a, a fun sick episode. episode. I, I would put that one uh, high end of high tier, I guess. Okay, that's and fair. that's only because the next episode is a top tier. Jellyfish oh yeah, jellyfish fucking jam. jam. Such a good episode. That episode when he would play the song um like in his house, you know, with the jellyfish like that fucking beat or whatever. I used to crank my TV so loud <laughs> that my neighbor would complain. <laughs> SpongeBob's the only guy I know was... who could have fun with jellyfish for 12 hours. He was like he was really Squidward. <laughs> My neighbor... Wait, is that the guy who you used to tell me was just an asshole? The guy yeah, right of same your house? guy, same guy. It's that guy, same oh my God. guy. It was the same guy, same but guy. before all the drum stuff happened, it was the same person. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sandy's rocket. Sandy's yeah. rocket. I feel like a lot of people tend to forget. I no, I remember it. I remember it very well. I actually like that one a lot. I thought I it was pretty cool because they thought they were in space and they started shooting everybody. Yeah, like. It's fun. Like, I'm always a bit of a sucker for anti-grav stuff, because it's just fun to watch. I'll put it at the end of high tier. I'll be generous with yeah. it. Yeah, I agree. That's all. <laughs> Small world. Yeah, I know he was... Uh, yeah, I know that uh, his daughter was uh, one of the teachers at Pine Ridge, which is funny, because I've seen her there, and I'm just like, oh, I never had her as a teacher, though. But yeah, I, I do know that. I just find that funny, and it's like, oh, wow, okay. <laughs> And up next is the aforementioned is the, is the, yeah. squeaky boots. Squeaky boots, I actually like because there were some really I good really jokes. I like, yeah. Um, it wasn't amazing, but I, I was still good. It's a fun episode, and I, I'm a bit of a sucker but for the it. Telltale Heart reference. I like that. The what? The Telltale Heart. Uh, it's a old story about a. It's, you know the joke where they're like, I stole the boots. He pulls out the boots out of like the floorboards. Uh, under the floorboards. Oh yeah, yeah. Wasn't that hears a thing the squeaking. With the... Yeah. With the he heartbeat. hears the squeaking. That's that's yeah, it's the heartbeat. That's literally just a direct reference. I I like that. Like stuff like that. That's fun. Right. So I really like squeaky boots. Okay, that's fair. But yeah, so squeaky boots as uh, mid tier. Nature yeah, that's pants. Hmm. I there was some fun stuff in this episode but i don't know i'm kind of eh on that episode it did spawn that really bad patrick meme of like which one the i know which one you're talking about yeah it also spawned the tired spongebob meme this yeah and then well, also, it also yeah, had the tired, tired SpongeBob, spongebob screen yeah yeah there was also that i as an episode though like i i kind of like it it's kind of fun mm. But I was just, eh, I was kind of bleh. Yeah, it's a fun episode, but yeah, I can see it being where it is. I completely forgot Opposite Day was an episode. Shit, I like some of the jokes there. Opposite Day is kind of fun. Opposite Day is actually a good episode, though. It is a fun episode. I I still remember the joke where they just speak backwards. <laughs> oh, wait, no, that's the one with all oh, Squidward. That's Opposite Day as an episode. Yeah, I had that okay, yeah. that one's good. That one's good. Um I guess I'd put it under pickles. Cause here's the thing with yeah. mid tier. Mid tier is like still solid. It's all solid. It's the first three yeah. seasons, you know? Yeah. Like it's it, th these episodes aren't bad, they're just kinda like eh. Could yeah. be a bit better, maybe. Culture I think it really shock. just comes down to preference. That was oh, a sick episode. Shock. That one had the dance, the interpretive dance. That oh the, yeah, the talent show. that one's good. I like I, culture shock. I put that. Uh, 
I put that up here actually. I I really oh, like brother, this, this guy stinks. I thought that was a really really good episode. Yeah, it's a fun episode. It kind of has like a it has some fun imagery. Speaking the dancing of fun, we have fun. fun. Fun was okay. I didn't love it, but I think I still think it was a good episode. It's a good episode. I would say maybe between Squeaky Boots and Mermaid Man Barnacle Boy One. That's where I would put it personally. Mm hmm. I I it's still like mid low mid. Muscle Bob Buff Pants. I like this one. I would maybe argue for it to be high tier. Maybe for me. Um, I don't know. It was good, but it's not like that memorable. I do I like guess, I yeah. do like the the advertisement for anchor for anchor arms. Yeah, it's like and now I'm a jerk and, and everybody loves me. And I always remember the sequence where uh he's trying to uh, he 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 blows up the arms really hard so he can lift a drink. Yes. Um. Like, just stuff like that. That's always fun. Just, like, over-exaggerations. Squidward the Unfriendly Ghost is next. Oh. That episode is good. That episode's fun. That's such a good episode. I'd argue for top tier, maybe. I, I could see it. I fucking love I could that see it. episode so much. That episode's fun. Such a funny episode. It's got, it's got like a fun premise. I think like the way it was executed was really fun. Like it's just good. One watermelon from the manure fields. Your ghostliness. <laughs> You're okay. Get in. I did not like the chaperone at all. Personally, I I never liked that episode. Oh, that's the one with Pearl, right? Yeah. Yeah. Eh, yeah. That one's. Eh. I never liked. It's kind of it. fun. It, it's but... like bottom of the. It's like it's not like I said. It's not bad. None none of these episodes are bad per se. It's just right. that one. Uh, I never yeah. liked it. Employee of the month, however, I did like. Um, I liked how they were like really competing with each other by the end. I thought that was pretty. Funny. The, look, Mister Claps, clean <laughs> Claps. Look, Mister Claps, clean floors. Clean tables, Mr. Krabs. <laughs> Clean dishes, Mr. Krabs. <laughs> that one's really good. Look, I'm organizing the money. <laughs> that one's really good. I love employee of the month. Um I'll put it a high tier. Yeah, I agree. Scaredy <laughs> pants. Uh, pretty good. I like Scaredy Pants. It was all right. I don't think it was bad at all, but yeah, I put it maybe mid tier. It's a fun. It's a fun episode. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I forgot. We're okay. We're not. Falcon we're not kick. letting that happen again. It's not. Not again. <laughs> not. Not again. Oh. No more Falcon Kick. Well, no. Just imagine. Cause last time when I streamed Christopher Robin. That was a mess. Everyone kept blowing up my notifications, John Madden. Oh, yeah. I'm not letting that happen with Falcon Kick. <laughs> no. No no new joke? No. Falcon Kick 2, the falconing. Falcon, yeah, the falconing. I was a teenage Gary. A I don't like of, this one. A lot of people don't like it. I never disliked it as much as everyone else. I, I, I yeah, thought it was it's, just it's okay. A, it's a neat episode. It's I I think it's kinda carried by like its creepy imagery, but it's still like fun. Yeah. Like I don't hate it. I'd say like mid tier maybe. And then Yeah, that's that's a fair placement. S B one two nine is a top tier episode. <laughs> top tier, top tier. That one's so good. But where within top tier do I put that? Mm, that one has I the would... future. That was a TFU win moment right there. TFU win, that is true. I would say maybe between Naughty Nautical and Squidward, the unfriendly ghost. Mm, that's just me, though. Um, like it's, a, it, it's really hard to place. Yeah. <sighs> it's a good episode, though. It's a very good episode. I like it. I think I like it. I'll put it up here. Okay, that's fair. 
such a good episode. Karate Choppers was good, but not great. Actually, here's a fun fact about Karate Choppers. When I was a kid, I remember I watched that episode, and I was, like, jumping around the living room, like, doing karate chops and shit. And my parents <laughs> are like, yo, do you want to actually do karate? And I'm like, yeah, that sounds cool. So... I started taking karate lessons and I got to like striped white belt before I said, eh, I don't like doing this anymore and I'd rather just spend my time doing other things pretty much. So I stopped. That's still neat. Good stuff. But yeah, so that was just a cool little thing. That was because <laughs> of that episode. This... And now you know how to fight. And now I know how to fight, yeah. How else did I learn how to falcon kick people? <laughs> so I don't know. Uh, so now up next we got Sleepy Time. This one I really oh, like. Such an underrated episode. I love it. Yeah, this one's really fun. I think I think it's that good. Real? I yeah. So I respect good. it. I respect it. I think it's. I'm a little most... surprised to see it that high, but I I respect it. It's, it's good. One of the fun. most underrated episodes, and it's one of the most creative. Yeah, like... it's a lot of fun. It's a, such a fun one to watch. And I think Suds is also a little bit underrated because they did get a little bit creative with um, the whole sickness thing. Yeah, I think it's a fun episode. It's got some fun moments. So I thought Some neat imagery. You got Don't Touch Me, I'm Sterile, which is primo. Yeah, that's primo, primo classic. We'll put Suds at the end of high tier. High tier. Okay, I agree. Valentine's uh... Day, I never really liked. Yeah, I'd say like mid tier, maybe like low end mid tier. It's a fun episode though. Yeah, you got some neat fun. stuff. You, you, I always appreciate like Patrick and SpongeBob like fun interactions where they just kind of like play off of each other. Mm -hmm. And like even when one of them is mad at the other, it's not like genuine mad. It's like goofy mad, and that's what Valentine's Day is. Yeah, because he's just like is a handshake. <laughs> I defy you, heart man. I, oh, yeah. I love that joke. That was a good joke. So the paper. That's one of the rarest episodes because they never really play yeah, the Valentine's really... Day double episode anymore. So you... Yeah, it's just Valentine's Day. The paper was like one of the episodes that I only saw like once or twice as a kid. Like that one was a very elusive one. Yeah. It, it's a fun episode, I though. think it's a I great like episode. It's so good and it it's, just yeah, it's sucks. really creative like they they play off a simple concept really well it sucks that it's attached to valentine's day though so no one ever gets to see it yeah it's unfortunate it's like super rare rare episode arg is in my opinion one of the most underrated episodes of the whole series i think it's a top tier episode i love the jokes i loved the whole adventurous part with the the board oh, game and oh, stuff. Oh yeah, Arg and I, I would argue Arg top tier. I would honestly argue Arg top. I tier. also love the monkey. <laughs> I still can't believe I watched that like three second clip for twenty minutes at work one day. Two gold doubloons, plastic. It, it, Arg is really good. It's it's a really goofy concept, and we get to see some more like Mr. Crab stuff. Like it's it's good. Just everything like about it. that episode is godlike. Rock it's Bottom, just really fun. It's a good episode, but I actually don't love it as much as everyone else does because it's fucking frustrating to watch him just get screwed over, over and over again. Yeah, that's fair. It's just it's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's still it's still funny though. Like I like. Oh yeah, it, so. it's a good episode. So I'll, I'll put it high in the mid tier. Texas. Okay. I never really liked that episode very much personally. I would put it mid tier. Honestly, I really like it. I would maybe argue it for the bottom of high tier, but I would say at the very worst, it's mid tier. Who cares about dumb old Texas? It's just te I don't know. I was never big on it. Walking Small was really good, though. That was that was a fun one. Walking Small. I have to remember that one. That was when um, you got to oh, be... Oh, yeah, in... that's the beach episode. Yeah, like assertive. You got to be assertive. Beep, beep. Not insertive. You used me for, for land, land development. development. That one's really good. Yeah. So now we got Fools in April. That was such an annoying episode to watch because Squidward was just really mean. 
Yeah, like nice. it's it's like kind of fun when it's like, I think it helps. It has like the fun SpongeBob stuff, but like Squidward's just a dick in that episode. Like Squidward in that episode acts how he would nowadays, you know? Yeah. It's just not cool. Neptune Spatula is underrated. That's actually a really good. That one. one's really good. That okay. one's a lot of fun. That's a fun one. It's an underrated episode. A lot of these episodes, I, I like think about. It, I'm like, oh yeah, that was that was a thing, <laughs> right? That was a good episode. Yeah. Well, it's easy to just like forget about some of these episodes, but yeah. still like a good time. Uh, Hooky. So now we're. You know, Hooky had that. I would... It had that little Jimmy Neutron thing. I don't know if you knew about that. Oh, yeah, I did. Where it changes where mid-episode. He cranks it, and they turn into puppets yeah, for, like, that's a little just, bit. That was, like, one thing in the... I think Hookie could be argued high t or, or top tier. I think. I don't think it is, but I think it could be argued. I could see that. I think it's, yeah. it's like, a low end of high tier. Yeah, at the very worst, it's high tier. But I think it could be argued top tier. It's it's a fun episode. I liked Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy 2 a little bit more than the first one. Yeah. Um, Because there was just more going on with it instead of them just being there in the retirement home. Like, there was um, the jukebox. There was oh, the, this uh... is the conch episode. This one's good. Yeah. This one's real good. I, I love this episode. Um, I'll put it. I'll put it there. The, like uh, I said, my place, my man. issue with Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, the only issue I've ever had is that like I don't remember which one is which, because <laughs> there's yeah just, they get really confusing really fast. There's just so many, it's just crazy. So then now we're okay. So that's season one. That's everything that's in season one. Hooray. So now, so we now got, we're at your shoes untied. We got SpongeBob second season. Now on DVD? Now on DVD. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Is this the complete second season? It's the SpongeBob second season. So are all my favorites here? All your favorites. All my favorites? All your favorites. Wow. So your shoes untied. I don't know where I'd put this. I want to say, like, maybe high mid-tier? It's, yeah, somewhere up there. Probably after, like, somewhere around here. Yeah. yeah. It's good, though. It's fun. Something like that. That seems That seems about right. Uh, and then we have Squid's Day Days off. off. That was a good one. That was a high tier, in my opinion. Hey, SpongeBob. Hey, Patrick. <laughs> I love that part. <laughs> hey, SpongeBob. Can you give me a change for a quarter? Sure. Here you, here you, go. Here you go. There you go. Dang. <laughs> that one's really good. Something oh, smells. I forgot. Um... That one was good. That's the Sunday episode, yeah? Yeah, where he ate the Sunday and then his breath smelled bad and he thought he was ugly, but he just stunk. I'm ugly and I'm pre That one's really good. I like that one a lot. I would argue high tier, but I could see it being mid tier. I would put it right after Mermaid Man Article Boy 2. Okay, that's a good. That's her. That is a fair placement. Bossy Boots. Um, Which one's Bossy Boots again? The fact that we can't recall is a problem. I will look it up really fast. Bossy Boots. I The name is from... Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the... Yeah, yeah. This yeah. is a good one, actually. This is a really good one. The Cuddly Crab. The Curly Crab. The Killer Crab. Yeah, yeah. One Salad. And two Salads. Oh, yeah, that's the high tier it. episode. Yeah, I, I think that's high tier. I forgot it was called Bossy Boots. That name doesn't really feel fitting, but I guess it makes sense. Because it's like, like given what it is. You hear boots and you think of squeaky boots. Yeah. <laughs> Big Pink Loser. Um, that's the trophy episode, right? It is the trophy one. I liked it, but I didn't love it. I think it's a high tier episode, but it's on the I lower think it's high tier. Level. Yeah, I could see that. 
Okay, so we're just on. I would argue Bubble Buddy top tier. I really like Bubble Buddy. Bubble Buddy. I really like Bubble Buddy. I would say like an upper end of high tier. Yeah, personally. upper end of high tier or top tier. Bubble Buddy's good. I like Bubble Buddy. But... Rock Buddy! Almost. <laughs> Dying for Pi is one of the best episodes in the series. That's a, that's top tier. I would put it at number one, honestly, right now. Eyelashes. The jokes in that episode land so well. Like, it's just, it's beautiful. Like, I love it. And we get, yeah, we get some fun, like, Squidward moments, too. Because, like, he's, like, genuinely concerned for SpongeBob. <laughs> and we get some fun jokes out of that. <laughs> it's so... You know, if I were to explode due to the careless recklessness of a friend, that would be okay. Uh, imitation Crabs. That was the, uh, the one where Plankton... That's the robot episode. Yeah. Um... I ravioli, liked it. ravioli, spaghetti underneath, meatball, meatball, Great Barrier Reef. I it, like that was, one too. It was good. It was good. I like you high tier. I think like mid of high tier. I put it at the lower end of high tier. Okay, that's fair. Pretty good episode. I didn't really like Wormy very much. But I, I like had... Wormy has some really good jokes. The, but yeah, the I can song was great. I loved the song. Some of the jokes are just, like, really stupid enough so that they work. Let's use the secret entrance. That, one, that one's always a favorite. <laughs> yeah. Let's just, use the secret entrance. Let's just go through this rock. <laughs> so, it's like they needed a reason for them to just be in the Krusty Krab without opening the Krusty Krab. See, that that's uh, such a clever joke. Patty Hype, I think it's super underrated. I think that's a great episode. That's pretty Patty's, right? Yeah. Oh, that one's good. That I one's think that one's top good. tier. I would almost argue I'd, top I'd put tier. it at the end of top tier, yeah. I love yeah. that episode. Grandma's Kisses I thought was okay. It's, yeah, it's like mid-tier, I'd say. Yeah, but where in mid-tier? Uh, bu -bu -bu. I'd say between Boating School Karate Choppers. You know what? I was thinking the same thing. Great minds, thank alike. Squidville, top tier. I think top that's tier. a top, top tier, tier episode. That one's fun. That one's such a fun one. There's canned bread in that one. Don't you like canned they bread? Don't. Wow, they have it. Canned bread. Well, they have it. Square. Square. <laughs> Fuck, I wish I had that clip now. Pre-hibernation week is amazing because it has fucking Pantera in it. Like, that's fucking awesome. <laughs> like, they got... They literally got Pantera to compose a little a little song for this episode. That's super sick. I would put it, like... Like, uh... I'd put it up here. Because it, it was a really fun one to watch because all the wacky stuff they were doing. Yeah, that one's fun. Where, where's SpongeBob? Oh, here he is. Look, I found him. I'm ready, I'm ready. Life of Crime. Life of Crime! That's a really good one. It was on National... We the whole stole thing was... a balloon! We stole a balloon, man. That one's really good. It... Borderline top tier. Yeah. Christmas Who, I'd argue top tier. I would genuinely argue top tier for Christmas Who. Christmas Who, I think, is either like the top of high tier or the end of top tier. I would argue end of top tier. I think it's it, it's it, really fun. It's really good. I watch it like every year. It's like my go-to Christmas special. It is a really, really good one in all Because it's just fun. Like, it has a good story. It's fun. You know, you get like a happy ending. You get Squidward being nice, which is always... I always like when they write Squidward like being nice. Like, he genuinely cares for Spongebob, like that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So, like, I, I really like Christmas too. I think it's got a lot going for it. Yeah. Survival of the Idiots. Okay, here's the thing That's with that episode. That's the camping episode. No. That episode... Which one? Is, uh, Which when... one, Survival of the Idiots? It's when they're in Sandy's Tree Dome during the winter. Oh, yeah. Now, that the camping good. episode is actually titled The Camping Episode. Oh, right, yeah. What'd you say about Survival of the Idiots again? I actually didn't hear you. When I was a kid, that episode used to scare me because of Sandy. <laughs> That's fair. I, I never liked when it came on. 
Um, you next, Pinhead! But that's the thing. It has Pinhead Larry. That's an amazing joke. So, I think I'd put it... Um, I'd put it here. I'd put it like, yeah. I'd argue like maybe... Uh, let me see. Like yeah, my, I, I my agree mid, there. Upper mid. Yeah, that's fair. I think that's a fair place to put it. Uh, now we have dumped. Oh, that that's a that's a fun episode. Mm -hmm. I think it's not like crazy good, but it's fun. Dumped. Okay, here's the thing about dumped. I would cry every time, literally every single time I watched <laughs> that episode. I would cry. I could not take it. It was like the dog episode in Futurama. I couldn't do it without crying. That one's good. Literally, could not do it. Now, does that mean I put it so high because it got that much of an emotional charge out of me? Or do I put it low because I don't want to cry at the episode anymore? I think it'd be, I would put it, like, high end of mid-tier, personally. I, I'd put it... I'd put it here. Middle of mid. Because it, it hurt, but I guess it was a good hurt. Yeah, I'll, I agree with that placement, where that is. Uh, now what? No We've got free rides. Free rides. You know, I never understood that educational television joke. It's just like, what? It's so out of nowhere. I think, the, I think the joke is just like, oh, you'll never beat me, or like, you'll never stop me, you'll but it's like, oh me. no, this sucks. That's like gradually getting worse. Educational like, television. Because <laughs> it, was, it was spikes, it was spikes, cheese, cheese craters. craters. And, then and like, what could be worse? Educational television. Oh, no. I don't know. And now, and now, back to blah, 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 we're playing all the hits, hits, and going, you're not gonna get away with stealing my car. That was that was probably my favorite joke of the episode. I oh, love that. Oh, absolutely. That, that was so joke. good. <laughs> it just reaches out. Mrs. Puff. There is no meme <laughs> giving my car back. <laughs> I put that one maybe uh, just like mid of mid tier. Uh, yeah, I'd put it like here. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun, but yeah. Also, hello, Riley. Welcome to the stream. As you hello. See, th this stream is like completely impromptu. I guess I can't really expect many people to watch because it's just like, bam, I'm streaming, and this is the it's first. It's also midnight. <laughs> it's also twelve in the morning on April fourth. <laughs> but this is the first time I've streamed anything in like two years, so. Who watches a Spongebob stream at 12 in the morning? Oh boy, 12 a.m. Oh boy, 12 a.m. <laughs> <clears throat> so now we got I'm Your Biggest Fanatic, which is the Kevin episode. That is the Kevin episode. That's a great episode. That's a good episode. Oh, yeah, I would say, I'd say like maybe middle of high tier? Uh, upper end. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Like middle, upper end. I really need to set up, like, my stream stuff more. Because right now, it's just like, okay, you see my screen, and then there's screen. me in the corner. There's your face. So, uh, as, Mermaid as... Man and Barnacle Boy 3. Was that the Mermelayer one? That's the Mermelayer one. That's the one with Man Ray. That one's amazing. I that love one's really that episode. Good. That one, I would put... I'd put... I'd... I'd say maybe bottom end of, like, top tier. But I would see it being high tier, too. I put it in top tier. I think it's yeah. a hilarious episode. It's a really fun episode. And it's just crazy to think that I put that in top tier and that's not even my favorite Mermaid Man Barnacle Boy. So... I wonder which one is your favorite. I couldn't guess. We'll get there. I... Squirrel, Squirrel jokes. jokes. I want to say mid-tier. Because I, I don't know. I barely remember anything from the episode, honestly. Howdy, y'all! It was just kind of a dumpy episode. Yeah, it, it's it's got like a fun theme to it, I guess, but it's like, eh. How well it's pulled off is like, eh. Pressure. I like it. But... Pressure is actually one of my favorite episodes, and I think it's super underrated. I thought that episode was hilarious, and I loved the ending where they went up on the surface. That was sick. Oh, that one's really good. Oh, fuck, I remember Pressure now. Pressure is really good. I think it's underrated because I'd never see anyone talk about it and how amazing it was, even though it's fucking amazing. Yeah. The Smoking Peanut is also a top tier episode. 
I love the Detective Patrick, and he figured out it was himself the entire time. Like, he launched an entire investigation. He launched a big investigation, and it just led back to himself. It's a perfect crime. So, that's obviously top tier. Uh, In the next episode, Shanghai, I would also argue top tier. Shanghai. You know the whole thing about Shanghai, right? Yeah, it was a three-part. It was like a... The, the, you could choose the ending. You choose yeah. the ending. Have you seen the other endings? Yeah, the the, the other two. I've only seen the. Patrick I don't one. think we've met before. I've never actually watched the Squidward one. I just know what happens in it, but I've never actually yeah. seen it. Myself. It's. It, I love the Squidward one. It, just the way they deliver dialogue. Hi, I don't think we've met before. I'm yeah. SpongeBob, and this is my friend Patrick. And they <laughs> fucking have that discussion in the stomach. <laughs> Do you wish for gum? Yeah, he just wants a pack of gum. Yeah, I like Shanghai a lot. It's a fun episode. Yeah. I would argue lower end of top tier. Maybe would, like middle of top tier. I think like the high end of high tier, personally. Okay, that's fair, too. I'd put it up here. <laughs> Shanghai is such a weird name. Like, what the hell does that even mean? Maybe I'm uh, not enough of a, par- of a pirate to know. I never really liked Gary Takes a Bath. There was just nothing about that I think it's got some good jokes. Also, Shanghaiing is forcing someone to join a ship lacking a full crew by drugging them or using other underhanded means. That sounds pretty accurate for the episode, not gonna lie. Yeah, but Gary Takes a Bath, I like this episode a lot, but I can understand why you don't. I like it a lot, though. I was just very eh on it, but I didn't dislike it. dirty boy. I would put it bottom of high tier, personally. But I would respect you putting it lower. Like, I, I could get why it wouldn't click for a lot of people. But for me, personally, like, I, I just like it a lot. Welcome to the Chum Bucket. Oh, man. That song... That, oh, that that episode also made me cry because of the song. Only the song, though. That song... Oh. I would throw it all away. I forgot the rest of it. If you came back to stay. It's just a greasy, just just a greasy greasy spoon without you. Yeah, that episode was legendary. Very good. It's just the the brain part I never really liked. Yeah, that's fair. I I think it's kind of goofy. I just like it for that aspect. I don't want to. So yeah, high end of mid. I think that's okay. I think that's a good place that's to put it. Frank and Doodle, I would argue oh, top tier. Top tier. Top tier. Frank and Doodle's top hilarious. Tier. Absolutely. That's a legendary episode. Can't go wrong with Frank and Doodle. You can never go wrong with that episode. The secret box. Um. The secret hmm. box, huh? That's a really good episode. I really liked the the my secret TV channel joke. I thought that was really funny. Um, I'd put it low into high tier. Okay, that's fair. <sighs> this episode. One second. I am. Uh, nothing has to be said. Wait, which episode? Oh, yeah. Band yeah. Geeks. Top tier. Right now, I have it under Dying for Pi, but Band Geeks is, like, another good example of the perfect episode. Absolutely, yeah. But here's the thing. The next episode was Graveyard Shift and Krusty Love. Graveyard Shift is another one of my absolute favorites. Oh, Graveyard Shift is good. Fuck, that's a good one. Oh, I, I love that episode a lot. And every, what day is it? Tuesday. Tuesday night. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, yeah, ban, yeah Riley. Band Geeks is a perfect episode. And a lot of people are just going to say it's the number one. And I may or may not agree. I don't know. Like, Dying for Pie is sick. Band Geeks. It gets to a point where it's really hard to order them. It's like top tier is just top tier, you know? Yeah, we're just kind of like putting them into like ranks. Like, it's hard to really like 
actually organize them from like one to one twenty. Yeah. Oh, I, I totally agree. If you put Band Geeks in not top tier, you're just incorrect. It is a top tier yeah. episode. Every joke lands. There's a perfect ratio of jokes and story. The like, premise is really good. Like it has a cool. good structure, and it has one of the coolest endings in any SpongeBob episode. Yeah. Like that song was it's, sick. It's got a really good like just cinematic structure too. Like it has a good opening, has a really good climax, and it ends on a fucking high note. Like it feels like a twenty minute movie. Yeah, it honestly does. It feels like something so much bigger than it is, and. Uh, it's so disappointing that the Super Bowl teased it. Let's and not then, talk about that. Let's not just, talk about that. Let's not talk about mode. that. Let's not, let's not talk about that. That makes me depressed. I try not to think about it. Uh, did we rank graveyard shifts yet? Yeah, I put it in top tier. Okay, yeah, I agree. That one's really good. Crusty uh, Love. Crusty Love. I think that's a pretty funny episode. I love this episode. Because SpongeBob just starts losing his shit and it's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> he just gets well, pissed. Mr. Krabs, do you know what I think? Oh, uh, that's, that's good. And you just get to see some, like, goofy Mr. Krabs. Like, yeah, that's always fun. Like, it, you could tell that they were just trying to figure out what to do with Mr. Krabs at the time. Mm -hmm. But, like, I think it's a good way to, like, explore with yeah. the character. Pro really good. Procrastination is a top-tier episode. Top-tier, sure. Absolutely. And some of these! And some of... See, you know what's weird? The quote-unquote deleted scene, like, every airing of the episode I've seen has that in it, where the car yeah. and the, the massaging, like... I've never yeah. seen that cut. Same for, uh... Um, Just One Bite, which we're not there yet, but... I think it's only... I think it wasn't in Canada. No, I saw it. It, it was in other countries. Oh, oh the, like, in the, the, Okay, yeah. Yeah, like, the censorship didn't happen in Canada. It happened in other countries. Yeah, every time I saw that episode, Squidward blew the fuck up when he walked in there. <laughs> but we're not there yet. Boy, we're not there yet. We're at, we're at I'm With Stupid. That episode is one of the most frustrating ones, but it has some really good jokes in it. Let me remind myself of this episode. Oh, yeah. I would put it, like, maybe low mid-tier to uh, low-tier. No. I... No. It's got some fun jokes, but yeah, I don't really like it that much. Sailor Mouth. I would argue top tier. Here's, High tier at the very best. Here's a or fun, very worst. Here's a fun fact about Sailor Mouth. Um, they were actually saying things. It's not like they, they kind of like, you know, left that, the That they cut, yeah. They were literally swearing. Like, and they censored over it with the noises. So it's like there is footage yeah. of the Spongebob character saying... <laughs> Someone... Le set uncensored spongebob exists somewhere it exists somewhere it will probably never ever get seen by anyone but it does exist i will break into nickelodeon and, and take it out for all of us <laughs> I, I, I will do it i'll rob nickelodeon give me spongebob saying fuck give me spongebob saying fuck i'm pretty sure tom kenny did a thing in the spongebob voice reading like a bunch of lines from movies and includes like some swearing in it so yeah there's also just a clip of uh, Plankton's voice actor straight up swearing in the Plankton voice. It's not censored. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know if it got he got into shit with Nickelodeon. And he's just swearing. He's like, "Come to the jump rocket, you fucking idiot!" Like something like that. It's it's really surreal. Nice. I'll have to find it. Artist unknown. <sighs> that episode is. A classic, I think. Oh, that one's I top I, tier. I want a copy of Bold and Brash. I really do, and I'm pretty sure. Top tier. Um, top is, tier. Is Ryan still watching? I don't think he is. Ryan, didn't uh, Kennedy make a Bold and Brash? <laughs> I'm pretty sure she did, and they have it on their wall in their house. I'm pretty sure she like she like when I went there, like there's all these paintings. She did all of them, and like I'm pretty sure one of them was a Bold and Brash. I'm like that is the kind of shit I want to see. <laughs> Yeah. legendary so artist unknown i would put i would honestly argue top tier but i could see being high tier at the worst yeah i was just thinking of where within top tier i was gonna put it that's fair jellyfish hunter was good but i don't love it but it's still solid you know yeah it's a fun episode i'd say like mid-tier ish yeah high in the mid-tier 
blue. Oh, yeah, the blue one. The Fry Cook Games is underrated. I don't think people talk about that one. That one's so good. I put it here. Yeah, I was going to say, like, high tier-ish. Top tier. Oh, top tier. Okay, I can respect that. Top tier episode. I loved it every time it came on. Squid Actually, on... yeah, it's a pretty good episode. Squid on Strike is also a top tier. That's a sick episode. That one's really... It's, it's good. That's a lot of good moments. Sandy, That's Spongebob, and the Worm? Eh. Yeah, it's like mid-tier. Like high-end mid-tier, maybe. Yeah, I'll put it... Do I put it before or after Welcome to the Chum Bucket? I'll put it uh, after, because it doesn't have the song. Yeah. It was big! It was pink! And it was Alaskan! Uh, the Alaskan it was hairy! It was Alaskan Bullworm. Yeah. It's big, pink, and hairy as the Alaskan bullworm. So we're now in season three, and I feel like we're in the home run. Looking at some of these episodes, this season is like the most stacked out of them all, out of the three of them. It's just like oh, some of these are just yeah. The algae's always greener. I thought it was actually really good. I love this episode. I, I it's think... it's got so much fun stuff. It does have a lot of really cool and creative stuff in that episode. So yeah. Uh... Like I, I would argue, high, like high tier, and that I'd probably just say high tier. Yeah. yeah I, I agree. Maybe top tier, but high tier, I think. The middle of high tier. Yeah. Sponge guard on duty. That was actually a pretty good episode, but I, I don't think it's like amazing, but it's like solid, you know. Yeah, it's it's a good job. It's a good stuff, or it's got good stuff. So. Uh, I'd put it here. Uh, Club SpongeBob, I I think top tier. Fucking that one's fun. Club SpongeBob, that's one of the episodes that everyone will like. There's a collection of episodes that everyone will agree are top tier episodes. That's really good. Club SpongeBob is a good example of an episode that is one of those. I think everyone just loves. So I'd put that here. As if the answer to all your problems will fall right out of the sky. We have to drop our picnic. We're gonna, we're falling right out of the sky. We're gonna drop the load. <laughs> They'll just fucking fall. My pretty seahorse. Uh, uh, it was. Uh, I I liked the pat the ending where Patrick has the thing in his Get head. out here, you dumb, stupid animal! And then he just walks away. I would say like mid tier. Yeah. Yeah. Put it there. It's not like bad. It's just like, meh. and then just one bite. This is a good one. Just one bite is one of the best episodes. That episode absolutely hilarious. This is a good one. I, I in the okay the 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 joke that was in the deleted scene I thought was hilarious where it's like a bucket of gas and then there's fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it says uh, all all Canadian airings show this scene. All the other countries show the edited version. That, why us? I don't know. Like, I just find that strange. I'm not complaining, but... I guess they figured, like, you know, we won't really care, and we really don't, I guess. And yeah. next we've got The Bully. Well, I'm just trying to think of where, where in top tier am I putting this? Oh, you, I thought you did. Uh, I'd say... Behind Naughty Nautical. Mm. Maybe a bit higher. Actually, I put it right above that. Okay. That's fair. Uh, the bully. I'm gonna kick your butt. Uh, that was a funny episode. I, I would put that in high that's tier. That's a fun episode. Yeah, I was gonna say high tier. I think that's... It's, it's a good premise. You got a fun character. Um... Yeah, let's, uh... Yeah. Now he's going to kick my butt. <laughs> Nasty Patty, I think, is such an amazing episode. I, I think it's top episode. tier. I think it's top tier. It's really good. It, it's such like a differently toned episode, but I think they still manage to keep the humor like 
really good. It's just it's just fun. I oh, like it's, that. Episode. It's so good. Idiot box. Okay, now I'm gonna tell you about idiot. Box. Idiot box is, I would say top tier. When I was a I can kid, understand. and I watched this episode, I would LARP everything they did on the box on my couch. I would climb up my couch as they climbed the mountain. I would literally, hey Ben, welcome to the stream. I well, would, I would literally climb up on my couch as they climb the mountain. I would fall off when Squidward would kick the box. I would like literally like, I tried to it's, enact. It's a, it's a good episode. I tried to reenact like what Robot Pirate Island would be. <laughs> like, oh my god! It, it's such a good episode because like a lot of it is like you know sound effect gags, but I think that works to its its advantage. Like it's really good. And just the box I, jokes. Yeah. The, the I didn't know what to get you, so I got you this box. box. That's, That's what I what got, I got you. <laughs> uh... So funny. And I, I, I will never forget the joke Patrick made. Like, this is ages ago in, like, the TM chat. He was at work, and they got a bunch of boxes. He's like, we now return to championship fucking boxing. <laughs> <laughs> and the irony of the situation is that that's my job. I come to work and it's just boxes. Your championship boxing. Uh, yeah, I, I do championship boxing. I did not like Mermaid Man Barnacle Boy 4. I'm going to make sure this is the one I'm thinking of, but I did not like this one. I'm pretty sure that's this is the, the utility belt one with yeah, Wombo. The, the belt one? Oh, but it has Wombo. I think mid tier. Yeah, for that alone. Like, literally Wombo alone. If it didn't have Wombo, it would be a low tier. And here comes our giant first. Patrick, no! So I'll put it... Oh, yeah, it has that, too. I love that joke. And here comes the giant fist. Patrick, no! That's the real Squidward. Uh, yeah, some, some of them were a little bit tough. Some of them I had to, I had to remember. Um, but the majority of them... Like, Where I also, yeah, sometimes I'm just, like, pulling up the wiki and, like, looking at the synopsis and getting, like, a brief memory of that. Yeah, there were a few season one episodes where I had to look them up, but, um, yeah. like, everything else here I can remember just by name. Like, Doing Time, that one was a really doing cool one. Doing Time is amazing. I love yes, Doing yeah. Time. Yeah, because, okay, the thing with that episode is that it always confused me because I didn't know what was real. I'm like, at the end of the episode, it just goes back to the beginning again. I'm like, what the fuck? But now SpongeBob's going to jail? Like, what? Yeah, it's really weird. I like it, though. I I think it's fun. It, it was certainly one of the more surrealist episodes. Yeah. I think it works in its favor, though. Yeah. Hey, what's happening tonight, Puff Mama? Chili? Oh, yeah. yes. Snowball Effect is a top-tier episode. It's top so tier. fucking funny. It's, it's so weird big. that a lot of these top tier like we added a bunch of season three episodes to top tier so far. I, I think season three was really the sweet spot where It really was, yeah. I can agree. Like season three they, they found more of their, their stride. But yeah, snowball effect. Uh, all of the jokes hit so hard. I loved how the fireplace kept yeah, the fireplace kept getting put out with a snowball. Soft <laughs> 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 use your bad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Please no, please no, please no, please. Okay, make it quick. That's okay. <laughs> I don't need to use the bathroom anymore. I thought One Crab's Trash was also amazing. That's such a good episode. That one had the, the number one hat. Oh, it yeah. It was his hat, I... Mr. Krabs. He was number he... one. My favorite joke from that episode, though, was a floating shopping list. <laughs> <laughs> because it just shows up. Uh... Top tier. I like the I like the end scene or here lies Squidward's hopes and dreams. That one's fun. What a baby. <laughs> that one's that one's pretty good. Um, it sucks. I have to keep like reorganizing this. Yeah. But as seen on TV, I think I made a YouTube poop of that. I think high tier to top tier. As seen like, on TV. like like middle of high tier to bottom of of top tier, it's really good. I think it's the the top of high tier. It's like on the really? top of top tier. Oh, it's actually no. I thought you said the top of top tier. Yeah, I agree with. Uh, no, it's not the best episode, like but it is very very good. Can just, you spare a fucking dime? Oh my 
God. I love the jokes. Fair shade. I love, Fair shade, sir. I love how mad SpongeBob gets. <laughs> Why don't you it's get a... a job? Why don't you call someone whose job it is to... <laughs> I made it special. <laughs> like it's it's an episode where we episode. like on like it's all usually you see the episodes with Spon like SpongeBob being like rude. Like sometimes they get a little like out of hand, but I feel like this one I said it earlier, like it's goofy angry enough to where it works really well. Yeah. Also, um in the chat Cabos is my friend from uh Ages ago, Thomas. Fun fact: uh, he was actually in my room while I was making that YouTube poop of that scene on TV. Like he was literally <laughs> over there working on something on his laptop while I was here working on that episode, on that video. Like he was literally there when it happened. Yours was clearly more important. Mm. And now no ween is allowed. Um, hold on. I'd I gotta, hi, I gotta find a spot for can you spare a dime. Oh wait. I thought I thought you already put one there. My mistake. I'd put it. Uh, here. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. That's a really good episode. So now no weenies allowed. No weenies allowed mm -hmm. is funny. Um, I think it's high tier. Like, maybe mid of high tier. Yeah, I think... It's fun. It's just meh. It, it's, be got, it's got good jokes. Yeah, it could be a bit better, but it's not bad. This is Weenie Hut Jr., yeah. Yeah, this is the Weenie Hut Jr.'s one. And uh, after that is... Ooh. Uh, next is Squilliam Returns. I never really loved that episode very much. Some of the jokes yeah. are just kind of eh on. It's kind of forgettable. I'd say like that's probably like top or like high end of mid tier maybe. It's still a good episode. I didn't, yeah. I didn't even like the ending either because everything just went to shit. Yeah. And it's like, I... oh... Hmm. Yeah. Fine it's not dining like... and breathing. <laughs> uh, it is a Squidward depression episode. It's where like um they had they transformed the Krusty Krab into a five star restaurant, and SpongeBob yeah. was told to delete everything in his mind except for fine dining and breathing. But he forgot his name, <laughs> and then he just destroyed everything. That joke's really good. I think the like that the mind joke, especially when they're just like, "What do you mean? We're just a we're just a clever representation <laughs> to stimulate human thought. Keep talking like that, or you're fired." No, no please, no, I have a wife and three kids. Uh, that's, that's that's a good one. that's a good joke. That's a fun. I yeah, a fun I liked episode. when he um he's like, "I can't do it, Squidward," and he starts smashing the book on his face. I'm like, "Wow, that's a good representative of every university student ever." <laughs> that's how it feels it's like wow i bought this 70 dollar easy music book i'm gonna just smash my head in with it <laughs> Crabborg is top tier i think Crabborg's top tier yeah, squillian returns i'll put oh you didn't put i'm like 10 steps ahead yeah, you're, you're you. way too too fast too quick you yeah i'd say like a, a high end of mid tier for squillian returns but Crabborg is so fucking good. I it's, love that episode. I think it's top five. It's really good. What if mom's a robot? What if dad's a robot? What if Gary's a robot? I don't know about top five, but it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's top ten right now. Yeah, that's fair. Will it lose top 10? I don't know, because some of these might actually, like, kick it out of a t potential top yeah. 10. Just looking at some of the Well, we're, we're, we're kind of closing up, honestly. We are getting close. There are 60 episodes, so... And we're at, um, 49. Yeah, we're, we're pretty close. We're, we're, like, halfway there. Part of every textbook. Yeah, I don't think I ever did. Because here's... You know how they get you? You fucking... It's like, okay, you go into your class, and then they're using a new textbook, and it's like... Yeah, you just get kind of fucked over. Like, there's no way you can pirate it, because it's like, who, it's a brand new. It's a brand new book. Yeah. Or, it's like, you buy a book, and then the next year, the class after you uses a different book, so you can't even sell your book, so you just have it. Like, I have some of my textbooks that I just don't need. 
Like, I have this understanding color textbook. I don't fucking need it, but I never got a chance to get rid of it. So I might as well keep but it. But now you understand color. If I ever need to understand color again, I'll hit up that book. Yeah, you'll be ready. So now we've got Rockabye Bivalve. That Bi -valve. one is a... I like it. I think I'd say high tier. I think it's kind of underrated. Not many people like to talk about yeah. that one. Now do they? I'd say it's like higher end of high tier. It's a, it's a goofy episode. It's got some fun moments. Put it in the middle. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. He got hit in the head with two coconuts. I, I was about to say, it has that joke, and that might be like one of my all-time favorite Spongebob jokes. That's fair. Like, literally, like, that yeah, is... I wouldn't blame you if you boosted up because of that, because that that was my thought process for Plankton, because mediocre clarinet player is probably one of mine. I'm, I'm putting I... it up here. That's fair. Because that, that yeah. one joke, that's how good that joke is. It boosts it up that much. Yeah. <laughs> that's around where I was thinking it should be anyway. Like, maybe maybe a bit lower, but honestly, I think that's a fair spot. Now, when I said there are episodes that might shove things out of top 10, this is one of them. Wet Painters. Oh, this one's fucking good. You know what I just realized? So, you know mm -hmm. how, like, episodes are split into two, right? Yeah. This is Wet Painters, and then the next episode that comes on is the Krusty Krab training video. That's a broken episode. That's, that's busted. That's two top tens. That's... Top five, arguably. Wow. That's busted. That's fucked up. <laughs> that's fucked. That's fucked. That is actually fucked up. So, where would you put... The training uh, video? Yeah. I think it could be above pizza delivery, personally. I, I was thinking the same way. Yeah. it It's it's like not an episode, but it's just so funny. It's, it's just back-to-back -back jokes. It, it hits really good. And then it's like I was talking with Anthony about it, and he was saying, like, the jokes per minute is, like, the highest of any episode, but they all land. Yeah, it's not like they're like, like they give you time to digest them and laugh at it, and it's like, okay, next joke. Oh my god, it's one patty, please. A poop, you never let us down. It, <laughs> it appears you're going to edge guard your opponent. Will he order a, a sofa, b an expensive haircut, or c a patty? One patty, please. One buffered air dodge, please. Oh no, poop, poop, you never let us down. So next is party pooper pants. This is one of the most frustrating episodes to watch because the guy I'd can't say... get in his own fucking house, but... Bottom of high tier. It's fun, but the yeah. patchy segments were really, really, really good. Yeah. Like those... those. I would so say funny. like low end of high tier, personally. Yeah. I'd put it like here. Yeah, that's fair. I think that's a good spot. Chocolate with nuts. Top tier. That's a classic. That's a good that everyone knows this episode. I like, I I personally I'm pretty would sure put at the lower end, but I think I think it's like yeah, I it's at least top tier. The thing is, like, I think everyone who has at least watched SpongeBob at some point in their lives, everyone fucking knows the chocolate with nuts episode. I'm pretty sure every fucking moment, every line is like embedded in people's brains. Yeah, yeah. It's. The, the, I don't think it's like the best. I think I I agree. That's like you know, it's probably like lower end, but like it's a classic. I think that helps boost it up a lot. So now and we then, have the best Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy episode, the fifth one, because I just it's love got everything. The whole team. I loved all of that. I loved the jokes that were part of it. I loved just Barnacle Man. Just everything was done so. I'm well. Barnacle Man. Such a good I, episode. Yeah, it's it's so good. I would honestly argue top ten. I could see it. Like, maybe top five, but I'd argue top ten at the very best. Top 15. Okay, that's fair. See, you know, we said this was going to be hard, and it is hard, but I'm, I'm proud that we're we're pretty close to the end here. We're, we're, going, we're going through this pretty fast. This went a lot faster than I thought it would. New Student I thought this Starfish could be like a drag. is hilarious. I think that's, that's a pretty good episode. episode. 
Is it top tier? I think it's like top end of high tier. Mm hmm. I think. Fuck, I wish. I honestly, now I wish we ranked this in numbers so we could rank it 25th. Oh, because that's Because you know it's 20 than 20. Do you want know 20 than 24? No, let me hear it. 25. <laughs> uh, clams. You know his ship is called the SS Cheapskate? <laughs> in, <laughs> in that episode? I don't know if you noticed that. <laughs> I actually didn't. Clams is really good. I but, like Clams. I think Clams is like middle of top tier. I'm not huge on the ending, but... Yeah, that's fair. So I'd put it in high tier? Yeah, that's fair. Do I put it before or after Bubble Buddy? Uh, I'd say before. Yeah. It's coral blue. <laughs> I need to get that lipstick. Before I get black, I gotta get coral blue number two. The Great Snail uh, Race. I know Ben was uh mentioned that. Oh wait, no, earlier. Ugg's next. Oh fuck. Oh, never mind. Screw that. Ugg. Okay. Ugg. I think Ugg is really good. Ugg I think is a top tier episode because not only is the episode itself really funny, but the patchy segments are like the yeah. best patchy when segments. When worlds collide, you can that, run but you can't hide. I love that song so much. Yeah, like, I think the thing that makes Ugg so good is that there's, like, barely any... There's dialogue, but it's, like, not cohesive. But it works really well because yeah. of that. And it's, like, they play off the fact that, like, there's no cohesive language. Mm-hmm. It's, it's so well put together. And it's, like, a really good example of just show, don't tell, right? Yeah. Yeah, it, it does a really good job what it does. But now... Wait, did you put down Ugg yet? Yeah, now the Great Snail okay. Race um here we are which is what the ben big was one talking about the great snail race is an awesome episode and i love it i think it's hilarious yeah. is it top it's... tier mm, i'd say like bottom end of top tier personally it's got some yeah. fun moments but at the same time i don't know because it's just kind of it's like spongebob just being the only thing a about little it... too much the only thing about it that I don't really like is the ending where, or the the whole thing with Sandy. Uh, I'm just gonna go kick his ass. Yeah. Like, what the hell was that? What? It's just kind of like a joke. It's just there. Yeah, it's like okay. Midlife crustacean. Um, that one had some good stuff to it, and it also had the panty raid, which is awesome. That one's good. <laughs> I like that one a lot. <laughs> I would argue, like, Our again, like, lower and top now, tier. Mr. Maybe, maybe, like, higher end top, top tier. I'd put it here in upper end of high tier. Yeah, that's fair. You have to consider, though, the panty raid is so out of character for SpongeBob. Patrick, Patrick. yeah. It's, I guess, yeah. It's just like, what? What are they? Excuse me, what? <laughs> Born Again Crabs. That's a really fun episode. Think... No free drinks. No free... <laughs> Give me back those toys, you freeloaders. All right, show's over. And then he unwatched. <laughs> that, <laughs> that, that, that's really good. <laughs> it's really good. And I, I kind of like the ending, too. Yeah, where he's just... Because it's just funny. Yeah, he trades him away for, like, six bucks, and then he starts annoying the Flying Dutchman. I had an accident. I wonder that, if that there ever I like. in real life has there ever been a seven mile spanking machine. Well, I guess we'll have to make it. I guess we'll have to we'll have to create one. Yeah, here's, we'll have to make here's it. what we do once COVID nineteen apocalypse is over, the next Durham tournament we create a seven mile spanking machine. <laughs> Perfect. Um, I had that one's pretty good. I I like it like middle of high tier. I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, it's fun, but eh. it it's got a neat ending though. The ending is really confusing because like there is context to it, but if you don't know the context, it's just really weird. I don't remember the ending. Oh wait, no, I'm thinking of a different show. Never mind. 
the ending is a. Uh, it's not a reference. I think it's just weird. It's because like the gorilla shows up, rips SpongeBob oh, in half, yeah. and then the zebra shows up, and the family just turns off the TV. I love that ending. That was so funny because it was just like, what the fuck was that? It's like, uh, <laughs> you know what it's like. It's like DRV three. The ending of that SpongeBob episode is DRV three. I guess so. So next up is Krabby. Krabby Land. Land. Oh fuck! I kind of love Krabby Land. I gotta Land. get some of that like, green stuff. No, not that green stuff. And he's eating lima beans. It's a good episode. I thought they these kids asked for Krabby the Clown. All I saw was Cheapy the Cheapskate. <laughs> Uh, that's a good one. The camping episode, that was pretty good. which is titled "The Camping Episode," top tier. Originally titled "Squid Gets Mauled," renamed to "The Camping Episode." Is oh, a, I didn't know that. It's a top tier episode. Yeah, it was originally gonna be called "Squid Gets Mauled," and then they changed that because I guess I kind of like the fun. camping episode more. It's it's a, it's a goofy name. It has a double meaning because it's literally the camping episode and an episode. It's like in a you know an episode happened you know, like this whole thing with the sea bear and yeah that makes sense. I I think it's a lot more of a clever name than uh, squid gets mauled. Yeah, it, it's it's just fun because it's like you know it doesn't make sense. I'm does gonna... this have C A M P? It doesn't have camp. Oh no, it does have campfire yeah, song song. It's the campfire song song. Yeah. Yeah, this is top tier easily. Like, it was top tier before knowing it, but, like, remembering that, it is still top tier, yeah. It is, uh, oh, that's totally a Jacob right there. Replacing an I with an O. <laughs> Jacob would totally do that. Campong. I, I love when he says, like, fucking, but it's fuckong. Fuck. Fuckong. Because <laughs> it sounds like Jacob would say that because he's just like, eh, whatever. Or, and like, maybe something he'd is... say when he's drunk. I don't know. Up next is a Missing Identity, which I, l I like. The, I, it's a f I love the premise that he was in this coffee shop on, like, a yeah. rainy day. And yeah, the song I like that the plays, opening. Which is called East Side Story, performed by this... I forgot what orchestra it Trevor was. Trevor Duncan. Trevor apparently. Duncan. Apparently. That's what it says here. East Side Story was composed by Trevor Duncan. It doesn't say who do, who did it, like who played it. Interesting, because but... if you take a look, when I lost my um, identity. Yeah, the Group Forty Orchestra, but I don't know. Oh, huh. well, there you go. Either way, it, it was it's like themes for radio, film, TV. It sounds amazing. And there's like a second half to like I listened to this at work. I was you know me and my buddy were talking about some episode at work. We're in rentals. I'm like yo. Here's one of my favorite songs, and I put that on, and then I got to the second half. I'm like, I didn't even know there was a second half. What? It's like there's like a completely different movement. It was weird. I'm like, Whoa, what? And it sounded great. Yeah, it's a fun episode. I like it. So yeah, I, I think it's a fantastic. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a it's a good episode. It's just it's fun. Most important meal of the day, sir. <laughs> Gary's, Gary's way. way. <laughs> Plankton's Army. I was never huge on that episode. I think it's high tier. Like, middle of high tier. I, I think it's, like, low end. It's got some, tier. like, kind of fun jokes. And I like the ending a lot. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna swap it with Rock Bottom. A heaping pound of freshly ground Plankton? Yeah, I agree with that placement, though. That's a good one. The oh, lost fuck. episode. The lost episode. Now, okay. A lot so, of people don't like this episode. So I think just on its own, like as uh, the sponge who could fly, it's like it's like you know, mid to potential low. Yeah, I'd say it's like mid tier, like middle of a mid tier. But I think with the lost episode, it's it's top, but it's high tier, as, not top, but high tier. As the lost episode and with the patchy segments it is a high tier episode yeah like that carries like, it hard yeah because uh i well most 
like most episodes or most like compilations that have the sponge who could fly they include the last episode but it's never been aired as just the lot or the sponge who could fly exactly so it is the lost episode yeah now it's the it's whole thing it's just forever. the lost episode yeah that that episode was oh man i i just love the patch segments i love the seven trials of monkey lagoon that was <laughs> and just the and whole some... thing and the, yeah. the walk cycle and i'm gonna get rid of all my spongebob stuff that whole thing was just beautiful all of it all of it all of it all of it i'm gonna run away that's what i'll do run away yeah that one's really good it, it the sponge who could fly is like an okay episode it's like kind of fun you got some fun stuff but at the same time it's like Meh. yeah it, it just feels like eh. spongebob meets the strangler that one I think is really good because uh, it's I, so good. The fucking cleats. I like the cleats joke. <laughs> With these spiky cleats, anything is possible. And this mustache is a fake. I bought it at the party store. Did someone say party? Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, that's that's up there. I'd put it like high end of um high end of high tier because that's so funny i just because <laughs> it's like spongebob's an idiot but it's not like a frustrating it's idiot. not like it's, it's just... not like stupid idiot it's just like he's just oblivious and i think what makes it work is that you don't want to see the strangler fucking strangle him yeah you like that spongebob's being stupid because it's like, oh, well, like, it's working on his favor. It's like, it's goofy fun. Because, like, it, his obliviousness is against, like, the guy who you don't want to win. Mm -hmm. and, then and then comes pranks a lot. Pranks a lot. This is a good episode. <laughs> I, this is a good episode. I didn't like I that say episode. top tier. I, I disagree. I, I guess I understand. I, I, could, I, could, I can understand, but there, I really liked it. There were a few good uh, jokes in this episode, but I was never really, like... I don't know. Yeah, I, I guess I I guess I understand. Like, it, especially because like a lot of it runs off the joke that they're invisible, and that can get old after a while. I imagine. I like the the toast joke. That's a good one. We've glued the door shut. <laughs> and we've clogged all. We've the replaced toilet. the glass with the rubber. We've clogged all the toilet. I'll put it in. Uh... I'd say high tier personally, like middle of high tier. Mid tier for me. Like I think that's a good like mid of mid tier really. Yeah, I I just never was huge on it. I guess I, I guess but I it understand. was still good. So that's it. That's that's the uh, at least that's just the initial like that's you know the first three seasons, um, which was you know the the golden age of SpongeBob. There we go. So I would honestly like. I would put season four maybe in there because I think season four was pretty good. But yeah, like, yeah, like seasons one to three is like the the best of the best. So considering what top ten looks like, let's just take a look. Just what my top ten ended up looking like. I want to see if there's any changes I want to make to my top ten. Oh, I actually didn't write down all of mine. <laughs> Oops. Well, we, I basically so, keep, like, the same opinion, take a few things. Dying for Pie, Idiot Box, Band Geeks, Krusty Krab Training Video, The Camping Episode, Pizza Delivery, SB129, Web Painters, ARG, Graveyard Shift. Um, I'd probably shift a few of those around. I would put... Yeah, that's fair. Graveyard Shift above ARG. I'd put Pizza Delivery down a few... Probably the number 10 spot, actually. Um, that makes sense. Is Dying for Pie truly number one? I'm going to... I think that's my my top 10. So let me fix that. Um... Yeah, the Idiot Box 10? I Idiot Box number one? I respect Idiot Box number one. Here's the thing with Idiot Box. I have such a history with yeah that. that's fair like and i still love it's, it like, yeah even outside of that like i think it's just like a fucking superb episode like i i actually well i totally agree with it being like at least top three like i think it's a very worst it's like third it's it's fucking amazing it's a good episode yeah it's it's 
Just overall. Solid. It's a very good time. Like, it's just fun character interactions. It's not like, it doesn't overstay its welcome. It's not like the jokes don't work. It, it's just goofy fun. It's a fun concept. And it, so, it may work with it really well. So there you have it. There um, is the, just the tier list of episodes from the first three seasons of Spongebob. This was just a thing I felt like doing. And I said, Lily, hey, you want to stream this? Let's stream this. I think it would be fun to stream this. So we'll stream this. And we, it was fun. we've been streaming it. I need to make myself a stream layout. I'm a fucking graphic artist. I can do my own shit. Like, I haven't done that yet. Um, but yeah, so thank, thank you all for watching. Whoever still left, Thomas, Ben, Riley, uh, Jade was here. Um, thank you all for watching. Everyone who's still here, Thomas, Riley, and, uh, Ryan. Whoever else. The ECB. Um, yeah, it was fun. It was fun to make this. I don't know if we would continue another time with other episodes because four and five is where things start to slowly trail off, but four and five are still good. So maybe another time when I'm bored, I'll be like, Hey Lily, let's stream four and five. Mm -hmm. But, uh, I'm down for it. Yeah. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, I totally feel like I'm, I'm like about to do just an outro to two toe tags. Like subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Oh, I'm, also, I'm TV fish. And we'll see you guys. <laughs> But, uh, I'm not TV fish. Yeah, no. And, um, so yeah, thank you all for watching. Um, I would like to stream more if my work closes or I get laid off or something. I would like to stream a lot more. I would like to either do a run back against Christopher Robin or stream Dark Souls. I would like to do some crazy stuff like that. If I can get a capture card, I wouldn't mind streaming some Fire Emblem or just Switch games in general. Ooh. But, uh, yeah, so I don't know when my next stream will be, but, uh, thank you all for watching and, uh, See you guys later. Later.